To a lot of people, there's nothing sexier than an American center console, and um, if that gets you going, then you're going to love this. This is the Seafox 228. Ryan's here to have a chat about it today on a glorious afternoon on the Gold Coast, where uh, well, we've just hit the beach here at Wavebreak Island, and um, see, life is good, mate, isn't it? We call on this work. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's pretty good out here today. You can't complain, especially in a boat like this, that's for sure. These American Center consoles, particularly tricked up like this one is. T tell me about this particular vessel. So this particular vessel is an extremely popular one, 22 foot, uh, very popular, manageable size amongst young families and the experienced fishermen. This one has been pretty much tricked up with all the bells and whistles that you can get through the Seafox range. The Americans really know how to uh, how to put some bells and whistles on a boat, don't they? They certainly do. The, uh, they just keep ticking and then they add some more after it too. So they, they do a very good job. Just the finish and the quality and the detail that they do add to these Seafox range is amazing. Let's go from the bow to the stern and let's talk about some of the features of this vessel because they are absolutely perfect for a sports fisherman, uh, starting at the, uh, the anchor well at the front. So we start at the front, you can have your choice of electric anchor winch. Just having a look, there are lots of grab rails, very, very comfortable seating, lots of drink wells. It really is well set up, isn't it? Correct, they do think of everything. They go on above and beyond, especially uh, even though it is a it is based around a fishing boat, but it gives you all the luxuries of your bigger boats, such as your Rivieras, your Maritimo. So it really makes a really nice day out there. Yeah, the it's got some grunt, that's for sure. Let's get down to the centre console now and have a have a talk about uh, the cabin here. Tell me, tell me about the setup. Okay, so for the new 228, this is an all new dash configuration. You can run two 12 inch screens. As you see here, we've done one 12 inch and we've got the VHF set up. You've got all your engine components and data which run along the bottom, which is really nice and neat. You've got your portaloo and uh, heaps of storage under the console here. And then it's got your upgraded ultimate hardtop. So this is an upgrade, and as you can see, it's got all your down lights, your navigational lights, your misters, and your full sound system. Yeah, I love this. Uh, I love that the rocket launchers here. Uh, just have a look above us here. Just take a look at the, the detail. Um, you know, they really do, as I said, bells and whistles. If you want them, you've come to the right place with the Sea Fox. Um, what's, what's she like as a sea boat? But it's a really good boat because it's got that big Californian flair. It's an extremely dry riding boat. So you, instead of the waves rolling up and into the console, they're getting dispersed away from the boat. So it is a very dry riding boat and it actually handles any seas well above its size. So it's a, it's a good all-rounder. Okay, let's move to the rear of the boat now and, and talk about boat tanks. Uh, there's some storage there for, uh, for sharp objects, but I really like that you know, in the back there. And of course, then we've got the engine plant as well. Tell us about this setup. Okay, so the cool thing about here, we've got your Esky, which is secured under your uh, your driver's helm. So it's nice and out of the way. It's got live bait tank. It's got the rear bench seat for those family trips out. They come standard with raw water and freshwater inlets, which actually uh, come with the hoses. That all you do is you pull them out and away you go. They're fixed nicely. It's in this, these rear two rod holders here, we can actually get a bait ball that slips just uh, straight in. So the good thing is you can have a bait ball, a barbecue, the options are endless. Got a couple of storage compartments down the back and then it's got your choice of 200 or 250 uh, outboard engine on it. 